In the plains and farmland west of the oil-rich city of Kirkuk lies the town of Al Hawija, which was one of the most perilous areas in Iraq for U.S. soldiers before they withdrew from the country more than a year ago. Now, on the 10th anniversary of the toppling of Saddam Hussein's regime, Al Hawija and other predominantly Sunni areas across the country are once more boiling with anger. For close to four months, these areas have been the scene of protests and sit-ins calling for the downfall of the Shiite-led government in Baghdad and the country's political system, which they see as products of the U.S.-led invasion in 2003. The gatherings have brought together youth, tribesmen, religious clerics, politicians, and members of the same insurgent groups that fought U.S. troops, including Saddam loyalists. It is the most sustained threat by Iraq's Sunnis to the political order and fragile national power-sharing system. Saad Sami al a local tribal leader who is jailed by the U.S. military for planning attacks against Americans, is now leading the protests in al Hawija. He's a senior figure in an insurgent group led by Saddam Hussein's fugitive deputy, Ezzat al-Duri. It's the same battle for the past 10 years until, God willing, we purge the remnants of the U.S. occupation, including the illegitimate constitution and government that did not improve Iraq but destroyed it and its infrastructure. The highlight of the Sunni protests in al Hawija and elsewhere across Iraq is Friday, during which the weekly Muslim congregational prayer is held. On the edge of the gathering, Iraqi soldiers who have seen an upsurge of attacks against them were on high alert. They searched vehicles and checked IDs of all of those entering al Hawija. Since the start of January, the central government has taken some measures in an attempt to defuse the Sunni protests, like releasing prisoners and promising to repeal or amend laws seen as discriminating against the community. But this has done little to calm tensions. Deputy Prime Minister Hussein al shahristani who heads a ministerial committee that was tasked with implementing these measures, says the protests and the insurgency next door in Syria, which is led by Sunnis there, has invigorated militant groups in Iraq. With the developments in Syria and uh, the bases that al-Qaeda has succeeded to establish um, in Syria near the Iraqi borders, um, they have uh, revived their hopes that they can uh, resume their um, terrorist activities in the country. This is Sam Dagger for the Wall Street Journal in Al Hawija, Iraq.